by a lot of people, and it's one of the most uh, celebrated sports in the United States, even though not everybody does like it. Uh, it's a good way to spend a Sunday night, and I don't think a lot of people actually know that uh, it kind of helped, or it, yeah, it kind of helped people uh, how to develop like everyday uh, values and stuff. And, um, so, <laughs> uh, you're probably wondering if I'm able to talk about this topic, and yes, I am, because I played all four years in my uh, high school, uh, I played all four years in high school, and you know, besides teaching me how to mess up the guy in front of me, or, <laughs> or how to uh, run the plays, uh, it actually taught me a lot about respect, and taught me uh, how I should handle myself like, in the real world. So uh, my thesis is to explain the history of football and how it has helped uh, players with, uh, with their uh, values and characteristics and stuff. So uh, on a site I found uh, on Hornet hornetfootball.org, uh, there is an old sport called uh, Harpastum, and it's a Greek descent. So it's basically like, the sport that uh, football, rugby, and soccer were, uh, were based off of. And it was described as very brutal and very rough, and it's really similar to how football, was, uh, it's kind of similar. It's like, there's, there wasn't any rules. It was just like, very uh, brutal, yeah, yeah. So here's like an, uh, a painting of how the sport, or how players, about how they play the sport. And here's like an old uh, stone uh, a description of how to. So, uh, so you, get, you get points by kicking the ball or running with it or throwing it to the other person's uh, goal. So many years later, uh, it actually got very better uh, football. So, in, 19, in 1869, the first college game was held, and it was a game between uh, Rutgers and uh, Princeton University. And then later, in 1873, the Intercollegiate uh, inter Football Association was formed. And they helped set rules. They helped, like, they made the set players at that time to be 15 on the field. And here is, yeah, here's like, a, uh, the uh, picture of how legal <coughs> football used to be. And it, here's like an advertisement for the game. And in 1880, uh, Walter Camp, uh, who was a rugby player for Yale, actually was considered like the, the father of football. Uh, he really changed the rules. Uh, he, he, he changed the number from 15 to 11 players on the field and he added the system of downs in football. So as football was getting popular, uh, there was a lot of concern because uh, players actually died from how brutal football used to be. In 1905 alone, there were like 18 players who actually died. And from 1900 to 1905, there were 45 players who died like from broken necks. Uh, their injuries were just too fatal and stuff. So. Uh, a real big fan of the game, uh, Teddy Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, he wanted he wanted to save the game. So, what he did was that he got representatives from Yale, Duke, Columbia to try to save the game. Uh, in over, so here's a quote from Teddy Roosevelt because. Uh, I believe in outdoor games, and I do not mind in the least that they are rough games, or that those who take part in them are occasionally injured. That's he, that's why he loved football so much. That he felt like it taught uh, these boys how to become men and how to like be stronger. So he tried to save football, and he met with over sixty schools, and they changed it to a format that we know today. So 
uh, what he did. So he he added he made like he he made instead of the players just like fighting viciously for the ball, uh, he added like he made the players spread throughout, throughout the field. Uh, and he made it so, he made the rules so like, if the ball ever touches the ground, that's it, that's like the end of the game. Or not end of the game, but end of the play. So uh, they wouldn't hurt themselves because that was one of the one causes why people were like dying because they were fight so much for the ball. So more changes that happened. In 1920, they introduced the NFL. And in 1939, they, uh, football helmets were mandatory uh, necessity to play. So, I explained to you some of the history and why Teddy Roosevelt saved the game. Uh, or I'm going to do it right now. So Teddy Roosevelt was a man of he he respected uh, character in a person. So and he believed that character was something that a man needed in the real world. So and he thought of it as a good uh, social uh, like practice and. Uh, it was a good way to like develop teamwork. So uh, here's a quote by him. Uh, Nothing in the world is worth having or worth doing, unless it means effort, pain, and difficulty. I have never in my life envied a man, a human being who had led an easy life. I have envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well. So I explained to you the history and I explained to you why uh, he respected the sport so much, and uh, that's it.